say Chris Groh is going to be coming out and playing yeah. there at Sesame. And we know how to get to Sesame Street at Sesame Place. It's right place. down the way. Exactly. It just goes south towards Chula Vista, the old Aquatica. That's yeah. literally where it is. Uh, but it's going to be a good time. So many kids are probably counting down till opening moment. And uh, mm -hmm. they couldn't have asked for a better opening weekend, right, yeah. weather-wise, because it's going to be nice and warm. It, yes, it'll be a good one for it. I'm filling in for Evan this morning. Uh, so, yeah, we'll get into your weekend forecast. But right now, it's foggy out there, foggy Friday. So we're down to a third-mile visibility in Carlsbad, Miramar, Kearney Mesa. Downtown, to 1.5-mile visibility, but it's been dropping down to 0.1. So just a heads up, if you do have any flights coming in or out of town today, you may want to check that. They could be delayed. And then the road weather index now showing extended extended fog right where all that yellow is that's where you'll notice visibility is really low and tough to drive through so that includes the 5 the 805 now extending into Chula Vista IB all the way south to the border and then all the way north to Oceanside it is that time of year where a lot of San Diegans are heading on spring break and many out of towners coming our way so no matter where you end up going we want to make sure that you are safe CBS 8's Dana Marie McVickle live at the San Diego International Airport with some timely reminders, and that is going to be a busy spot here this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Eric and Netta. Yes, spring break is just around the corner, but also construction is in full bloom here at the San Diego International Airport at Terminal 1, which hosts Southwest, which is a very popular um, airline here and a lot of those spots for drop off and pick up are now blocked off due to that construction. So staff says it's going to be a little bit harder to navigate and I do confirm that is right. It's definitely busy here this morning on a Friday, uh, but of course so many people are coming to see the weather, the beaches, so police and lifeguards are also gearing up. You'll see more officers out uh, on Mission Bay. You'll see more lifeguards out on the beach. We're just, uh, we staff up when the crowds come. So all we want is a safe, uh, a safe 10 days of spring break. Now for a lot of people, spring break starts March 27th. The weather is warming up, so both tourists and locals are flocking to the water. The San Diego Fire Department lifeguards patrol more than 40 miles of beaches, keeping an average of 17 million visitors safe each year. On top of that, they perform an estimated 7,000 rescues each year. So here are a couple of tips to help maybe lower those number of rescues. Never swim alone. If caught in a rip current, swim sideways until free, so don't swim against the current pull. Report hazardous conditions to lifeguards or other beach management. Stay clear of coastal bluffs. They can collapse and cause injuries, so make sure when you're setting up camp near the beach, give a good distance between those bluffs, like in Del Mar or even north of that. Of course, we have a full list of many different tips on CBS8.com from the police and uh, lifeguards that they say, hey, just look over, refresh yourself before you head to the beach. They do want to remind you that there is still an alcohol ban or even glass on the beaches as well. And you can't bring your own bonfire on the beaches. They do have those designated areas, and that's what you need to continue to remember as spring break gears up and summer as well. It is foggy here in San Diego, but it doesn't look like there's too many flights being delayed out of the airport. I'm Dana Marie McNichol live. I'll send it back to you. All right, Dana Marie, thank you so much for that update. Now, here's an update you may not want to see. This morning, we're on the cusp of $6 gas. The average price now $5.99. We were at $5.98 yesterday, and today's price also over $2 more than this time last year. There will be another chance for anyone low income, working class family, so many of you, to get gas for free. So that certainly can help you out. Today, community activist Shane Harris teaming up with local churches to reveal another giveaway, and this includes up to $50 per car, as well as food from the San Diego Food Bank. The giveaway happening Wednesday, it'll be in Chula Vista. Now, a heads up here, registration does start today at noon. That's when the website goes live, so make sure you have that link. We have it posted for you at CBS8.com. Just click on the help button. SDG&E customers can expect some relief from their past utility bills. This is called the California Climate Credit. The money comes from companies who have to buy climate credits from the California Public Utilities Commission. Customers usually get payments ranging from $18 to $30, but come April, it'll more than double for you to about $43. Then in August and September, customers will get a $64 discount. President Biden is in Brussels for a second day of meetings with European leaders as Russia's invasion of Ukraine continues. Later today, the president will visit refugees at a camp in Poland, just 100 miles from the Ukraine border. The U.S. 
is set to accept 100,000 refugees from Ukraine. County leaders say San Diego is ready to welcome home some of those refugees here. A Ventura man is accused of smuggling more than 1,700 reptiles into the U.S. over the years. 30-year-old Jose Perez was charged yesterday. Authorities say last month he was caught crossing the border in San Ysidro with around 60 reptiles hidden in his clothes, including dozens of lizards and four snakes. They later learned he was a part of a larger wildlife smuggling business. He's charged with nine counts of smuggling and faces up to 20 years in prison for each one. Well, let's talk about Sesame Street now, making a big splash. Yeah, they do have plenty of water adventures there. A new theme park is opening for everyone to enjoy, and it's called Sesame Place San Diego, opening this weekend. Yeah, CBS 8's Chris Grow live in Chula Vista with how the theme park is uh, <laughs> making this a fun experience for every kid. And don't ring the doorbell we're seeing mm. out there. You don't want to do that. Yeah. What's going to happen? Don't ring the doorbell. You know what that means. We're going to ring the doorbell. Oh, man, I think Oscar's sleeping. It's all right. It's all right. We will come back at a later time. You know, we talk a lot about real estate here on CBS 8, especially because of all the challenges many Californians face. Well, there may be no more famous address here than 123 Sesame. I truly wonder what this would go for on the market. In fact, I wonder what Oscar's trash can will go for. Sometimes those things do go for a million, uh, depending on the location. And no better location than here at Sesame Place. And Erica joining us right now. Tomorrow's the grand opening. What do we have in store? Oh my gosh, we have so many wonderful things. So make sure you go to our website, SesamePlaceSanDiego.com. Purchase your tickets or your season pass. Prices go up tomorrow on opening day. And if you become a season pass holder, you get invited to the grand opening ceremonies with a very special show and early access to the park tomorrow. And that is going to be somewhat of kind of the pomp and circumstance about tomorrow, right? A very special opening day uh, for you, you know, finally putting this all together to get this all up and running. How are you feeling for tomorrow? Oh, we are thrilled. It's been a lot of years in the making. COVID postponed us. Now we're opening tomorrow. We had our ambassador preview the other day and just seeing everybody come into this all new theme park based on Sesame Street. It's magic. And where we are right now is sort of kind of like the main set. Obviously, we have, you know, one, two, three, Sesame. We have Oscar the Grouch. Uh, we'll see in a little bit maybe what else is here. Um, but this is sort of also the area where we have sort of the kind of the main shows that come through, right? That's right. So as soon as you walk in through the gate, you are on Sesame Street, the same street that you see on the show. This is where our award winning parade happens every single day. So make sure you check the schedule and also don't miss the all new Sesame place show that happens every single day here too awesome well erica thank you so much and again guys tomorrow opening day get your tickets now if you haven't already again you can learn more you can get the link to sesame place uh, by going to our website cbs8.com just click on that story link eric and Netta. yeah oscar the grouch uh, it's too grouchy this morning to <laughs> even early. wake up he's still sleeping in that can uh. yeah I, we understand right yeah we understand thanks chris Thank we'll check you. back in with you out through, throughout the morning here. oscar's okay. like do they have to open sesame's place i like it all to myself <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> sorry oscar sticking with the grouchy theme <laughs> nothing's changed over the decades he was always one of my favorites he, he was a he was a character that's yep. for sure i will say elmo just because of the way my daughter is like so into elmo Oh, I by the way, how's that, how's that Tickle Elmo. Me Elmo doing that I, I gave know. to you? I don't know where it is or what it's doing. <laughs> yeah, that's in oh, the garbage God. with Oscar, I think. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Threw it in the trash can. Yeah, that Elmo would not stop. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know that sound. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, kids will get to enjoy all of that Sesame Place. And you know what the good news is? As they open tomorrow, Sunday, it's going to be nice. I will say Monday, it'll be a rainy one. Tuesday morning, too. But then after that, we should dry up again. Here's our view. Downtown San Diego. There's the runway. The airport. Uh, usually flights start leaving around 6 o'clock in the morning. I will say it's pretty foggy, uh, so check with your individual flight. Make sure it's not delayed this morning uh, because, of course, whenever we see the marine layer sitting so low, it's going to be tough to get in and out of the airport and tough to drive through all of this. Here's our view from San Miguel. This is the South Bay coated in that layer right there. There's high pressure pushing all of this cloud coverage down to the ground, and that's why you'll notice a uh, pretty patchy fog in many areas affecting visibility way low right now in Kearney Mesa right along La Jolla and then downtown San Diego where the weather station is at the airport it's at 1.5 miles but if it drops at all they likely will have to delay those flights so really it could change any moment up through North County the third of a mile in Oceanside Carlsbad 
That's the view, Matt Soledad. I tried to adjust the camera to give you some sort of vision, but you know, that's the nature of the fog right now. 56 degrees downtown, and we're looking at the next several hours, taking you through the low 60s by 10 a.m. That's also when we may clear out a little bit. It won't be as foggy. The clouds will lift up a little, but along the coast, the marine layer, there's a chance it could be fairly stubborn, and it will likely keep you cool. We have weak onshore flow pushing in the clouds right there along the beaches, and then inland, that's where you won't see much of that so you'll see the sun it'll be a lot warmer 84 for Escondido 84 Ramona 82 in Poway so still another above average kind of day for you we've had that kind of week but at the beaches temperatures will drop a little tomorrow will also be very similar and then Sunday you'll notice more of a drop in those temperatures two to four foot waves if you do want to go to the beach so many people are doing that right now I notice it just as soon as I leave this building traffic heading west rip current risk is moderate when you jump in the water just a heads up 60 degrees water so of course that could be a little shock to the system uh, but that's also why you know it keeps our temperatures fairly cool along our beaches thanks to that sea breeze here's a check of traffic right now you see where all that yellow is that's where you're impacted by the fog and let's take you right into the fog and show you what's going on so this is an incident that just popped up right on home avenue north 94 eastbound from home eastbound blocked due to a grass fire so that's something we'll look into right there on the 805 excuse me and home avenue Avenue. And then looking around the airport, downtown Coronado, there's just a little bit of typical backup that we see. But this whole area, of course, could see patchy fog. The five extending through the 56 and even parts of the 15 may also be fairly socked in.